This is a very, very brief introduction to kernel density estimation, which is the most popular technique for estimating uh, densities. Now, uh, the technique is very simple. It just uses this one equation, um, which is simply to take uh, a kernel um, and put center it on each of the data points, the xi's, and then add up all of those kernels. Okay, and then you get a sense of where they, where, where the xi's are most close, close together, where the density is the highest. Okay, so yeah, so you just place a kernel in each xi and add them up. So here's my data set. It's just you know happens to be six points. Um, and I'm going to just place a kernel on each data point and add it up. Okay, and it looks like that. So the kernels are in blue, and then when I added it up, it was in black. And you can see that there's a higher density region kind of um, closer to the right. Okay, now there are many possible kernel density functions that you can use. I used a Gaussian kernel, as you saw, but you can use a box kernel or a triangular kernel, whatever you like. Um, you can also choose different kernel widths. So in the previous, um, in, in the one I have on the screen and in the previous one, um, you can choose, uh, I chose h equals four, so the kernel width, bandwidth is four. But if you make the kernel narrower, you tend to fit the data more uh, precisely at the risk of overfitting the data. And then um, you can make it, it can make it even tighter and overfit the data even more. And of course, if you make the kernel width too large, you just smooth the whole thing out and it just looks like one big constant-ish blob. So there is some, there is some uh, tuning to be made in the kernel width. Um, so there are methods that adaptively tune the kernel for you. Um, they, don't only kern, they don't only tune the kernel width, but they also might tune like the covariance of the kernel. So for instance, if let's say that each data point is collected along a street, um, then these kernels might stretch along the streets because of course um, it would be very strange if the kernels were round when the data weren't collected off the street. Right, so it'd be nice if the kernel stretched along the street. Um, anyway, so that's your that's an introduction to kernel density estimation. Thank you.